everybody, Jeff Johnson. I'd like to demo a new ripple effect that I've done to help add some collision-like effects for rain and sleet. Uh, the collisions for the particle system work great, and I'll turn those on now. So if you look at the ground here, you'll see collisions happening with the ground. I've upgraded the splash effect here to look a lot nicer. The problem is you probably saw the frame rate, so we're at about 40 frames per second. If I turn off the collision, I'm gaining 10 or 15 frames per second. So depending on how much rain you have or the device that you're running on or the complexity of your scene, in this case Viking Village, which has a ginormous number of meshes, your collision performance may be unacceptable. In that case, I've added something to the rain and sleep prefab. For the rain prefab, we have rain ripples. Under 3D settings, we have three animated texture properties. We have rain ripples. That is the renderer for the rain ripples. We have animated texture renderer intensity threshold. It's a mouthful. Basically, if the intensity of the rain ever goes above this valley, the ripples will fade in. Uh, you'll notice as I drag this all the way to the left, uh, they are there no matter, even if the intensity is really low, the ripples will show up. If I raise this past that, the ripples go away, and so forth. As you raise the intensity, they will fade in, I think it's a cubic algorithm, so that you have to get kind of close to that intensity before you really start seeing the ripples. So I'm probably at about... 30.3 intensity and you can see a few ripples here and then as I get up to that intensity threshold the full ripple effect fades in which is great and you'll notice the frames per second are unaffected so this effect is mostly great for outdoor usage and flat areas if you go say on a house you get to see a few artifacts potentially uh, the ripples, even even here the ripples look fairly decent, but they're not super realistic. So you probably really only want to use these in flat areas where you can be sure that the ripples look nice. Awesome, let's switch over to the sleet ripples. Um, I'm going to slide the sleet ripple effect intensity down to about the same as rain. You can see the sleet ripples are a little more grayish, whitish, and there's smaller splashes because sleet is a little more icy make a bigger less of a splash so let's fade these between rain and sleet sleet goes out rain comes in thanks so much for watching if you have any feedback on how I can make these better please let me know the nice thing about these is you don't have to add separate materials for terrain or meshes it just puts the ripples on in a separate plane mesh renderer so nice and simple Give me feedback, please. Support at digitalruby.com, and I'll be happy to enhance this feature as I get feedback from y'all. Thanks so much. Bye.